In this lesson for Bobcat Cam, we're going to take a look at saving G-code out of the Bobcat software and sending files through the Predator Editor. So currently you can see I have a file open and I have some G-code posted over here. Now let's say I want to just save this right out of the software. Simply put your cursor inside the G-code, you're going to right click, and you can either save as or send to the editor. Either one of these will be fine for getting it to where you'll be able to save it. Um, you just want to think, do I want to just save it the way it is, or am I going to be doing any edits to it? So let's say I just want to save it the way it is. So then I just click on Save As. It'll bring up your normal Windows Save As box. Direct it to where you want to save it, like the desktop, for instance. Give it a name, file extension type, and then just hit Save. And that's been saved to the desktop of my computer as a text, uh, as an NC file, uh, which is really just a basic text file to be opened in Notepad. Now, the other option is to right-click and send it to the editor. The editor gives you the ability to do a few different things. Now, everybody should get the basic level of editor with their package. The basic level, level will be allow you to make hand edits to the G-code and do your send and receive to and from the machine, uh, as well as drip feeding, and saving it out of the software again. So once you bring it in here, now this is an editor. So in this box, I can come in and make any hand edits I want to it. Uh, like, for instance, if I want this to say, look here you know, on the end of the line, you know, anything you need to do to it. You need to go ahead and change a few little things here and there. Now, let's say that's all you wanted to do and you were happy. Then you just go up to the file, do the save as, again, direct it to where you want it to go, give it a name, and choose a file extension. And save it. Let's say you want to send this out to your machine by a cable, RS-232. So if you have the cable set up, and you're ready to send it, you just simply set the machine to receive, go up to DNC and hit send to machine. It'll load the program, it'll send it out to it uh, at the settings and speeds that you've set with the software, and then you can just go out to the machine and run it from there. Now the settings for the machine are under DNC and properties. In here you have things like the COM port of the computer, the baud rate, parity, data bits, stop bits, handshake, flow, uh, software hardware timeout and you can even do a line send delay for drip feeding which we'll come back to in a little bit but these uh these settings here the baud parity data stop and flow these are very important settings these need to match the machine if these don't match the machine you're gonna have issues sending out to it so you wanna find out what your machine is set to either by checking the manual checking the pages on the controller and if you're not sure Call the controller and manufacturer, and they should be able to tell you where those settings are set so you can take a look at them. Now, these settings on a lot of machines are changeable by the operator, so there's really it's really hard to go by a set standard and us to keep these. So we won't have this information here. This is something that you'll want to gather on your own to enter into the software. Once it's set, it should stay, and you'll be able to send it those settings every time. It's just a one-time gathering. So you'll need these settings to be able to send and receive back and forth to the machine. Once that's set up, then the send and receive is very simple. Like I said, if you're sending out there, you set the machine to receive first. Come in here and hit send. It'll send over. If you're receiving back from the CNC, you set the Bobcad to receive. You go out to the machine, hit send. It will send it over. Pretty straightforward. Now, the next uh, step of that is, let's say you have a program that doesn't fit in the machine control. And you want to uh, send it over by what's called drip feeding, line by line. So it sends enough over to fill the buffer of the machine. And then as it's used out of there, it will send it over as needed. To do that, you must have the DNC option or drip feeding option on the machine control. Uh, if you don't have the option on the machine control, Bobcad will not be able to do the drip feed to the machine because it's set up a little differently than just a standard receive of a program. Then all you're going to do in Bobcad is go into your DNC and properties you're going to go to the next page and you're going to use a line send delay. I usually tell people to start at about 750 and then work down and up from there at about 1 to 200 increments until you find what number works best for your machine. Once you find this number, that number will be the same every time you go to drip feed. So figure out if the machine has the drip feed option, go into the properties, set the line send delay on the next page after the uh, machine settings and you're ready to go. Now, some of the things that might happen when you do go to send that could cause problems. 
The easiest way to tell what the problem is that you're having is think of a couple things. Let's start with the basics. Let's say you go to send out to the machine and you get nothing at the machine. You get no errors, no signal, no nothing. The machine's still sitting there waiting to receive and in Bobcad it's sent like it's doing right now and it says it's complete. Well, When you get nothing out at the machine, it's usually hardware, meaning it's the COM port on the computer or the cable. So you want to go in and check those first. Check the pin out of the cable and check the COM port to make sure that it's working. If you're using a USB to serial converter, make sure you have the latest update from that manufacturer's website downloaded to run it. If you send out to the machine and you get an error, that's telling you right there that your hardware is good because it's sending something out there. So now you just need to go in and adjust your settings. So errors are usually the settings don't match or one's off a little bit or something like that. Um, but it is telling you that, hey, I am getting a signal out to the machine. I'm just not getting the right signal that I need. So if you look at it that way and, and break it down to the basics and say, okay, I'm not getting any signal at the machine or I'm getting an error at the machine. No signal means hardware usually. Signal that's an error uh, usually means settings. Then you'll want to start thinking about, okay, have I changed anything? Was I able to send before Bobcad? If so, what's changed other than Bobcad? You know, and things like that. And start troubleshooting down the list. Uh, we do have a document that technical support can send out to you. That's a little troubleshooting document that has these steps in there and some common uh, things to look for. But either way, very easy process. Again, I'm going to close this down real quick. So if you're in the Bobcad and you have your G-code down here, this is just a viewable window, but you can put your cursor inside of it and right-click, save it directly out. Just save a copy on your computer or a flash drive to take out to the machine. Or you can send it over to the Predator by clicking on Edit CNC, where you can make any hand edits, do your send and receives from the machine, and save out of here as well. This concludes this lesson.